Hello, my friends, and welcome to my segment of Pouring from Coast to Coast. Now, I'm kicking off the collaboration this week, and that means I got to choose whether to do a challenge or not. And, of course, I picked a challenge. So, my fellow artists are allowed to use any colors they want, do any technique they want, but they must use silicone and a marble. So, I'm really anxious to see what they come up with. And I'm anxious to see what I come up with. So, my colors today are all Liquitex, with the exception of one. So, Liquitex White, Prism Violet, this is Master's Touch Emerald Green, Liquitex Lime Green with a bit of white to lighten, and Liquitex Brilliant Purple. I've added silicone to all but the white, you, you can add to white, there's no reason you can't, but I just felt I had enough with the other ones. So, here we go. I've got a 12 by 12 inch deep canvas. And ready to go. This is the order I'm going to fill up the cup. And I, I think I'll do kind of a dirty pour. Start with the white. I did stir the silicone in really well, but I'll give it another good stir before I uh, add it to the cup. It's a little on the thick side, but I want my cells to um, hold their shape well, so. tape the back of my canvases, or I try to remember to, usually do, especially on a better canvas like this. And then I use these um, medium-sized push pins. And release. Okay, what I'm going to do is um, spread it around, tilt it around for coverage before I hit it with a torch because I want my um, cells to remain on the small side. And I hope my torch is full, let's see. Oh good, forgot to check that. All right, so here we go. Interesting colors. Whoops, whoops, whoops. I just knocked something over there. Can't get it all out of the cup. I'll just do this just to help with the uh, with the spread. You know, you think you get it all out, but there's always more in the cup. It's a little muddy towards the end there. But this will get covered up. Beautiful. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, 
we got some uh, nice looking cells there but they will really explode when um, when I torch it but I want to get full coverage of the canvas right now So I'm not going to tilt after I um, run the marble through it. Get rid of that ugly corner there. I'll put my recipe down below, but it was um, glue and Liquitex pouring medium and water. All right. Now to hit it with a torch. So, um, yeah, I think I can take my gloves off because I believe I'm done tilting. Oh no, I should have left it on because the marble I'm going to have to touch. All right, now I'm uh, pulling up small cells all over. Popping bubbles. Oh yeah. see let me bring you in um, to look at the the little cells that we got multicolored that weird little swoop is kind of fun this is kind of an unattractive area up there that color don't love that but uh, Nothing I can do about that. So now I'm going to hit it with torch one more time. In the areas that don't have a lot of little cells. Bring up as many as I can. That's good in that area. <clears throat> brought up some yellow ones so it doesn't look quite so unattractive. Okay. Now for the marble, but I need a glove. Now, I've done this a couple of times with a marble, and uh, I remember that um, I like to start it in the middle and then run it off the canvas. If you start it on the edge and then stop it here, it's hard to pick up. And so this way um, you avoid that problem. So here we go. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to start here and come down here. I think I'll do three runs of the marble and here we go. Ah, I do. Oh, well, I should put two gloves on. I forgot about this. Slowly, slowly, slowly. And it picks up those cells and makes lovely little leafy kind of patterns. I'm going to try to go through that ugly cell there. 
There we go. That's good. Clean the marble. Yeah, that's pretty in there. Now, um, I think I'll want, run one start here. Come down that away. Run it off over here. Try to um, try to run through those big cells. I don't love those, so it's kind of like that that game, you know. Remember with a wooden game where you have to send the marble through without falling in the holes. That's what this reminds me of. So take your time. All right, that worked. I got rid of those ugly cells there. One more up in this area. But you see how when you start the um, the marble on the canvas, you just get a really nice little um, design there, starting area, I think. All right, now what do I want to do? Um, I think there. Think about it before you do it. <laughs> A little thought. Go through that right there. There we go. All right. I think I'm done. I I, I don't want to go crazy with the marble. Or do I want to do one more? No, I like three, and <laughs> that way I can say I'm done. I'm done. Let me bring you in for a closer look. I got a few weird cells there, but I have a nice, still little sprinkling of, of cells. But even that area is okay. That's pretty in through there, I think. Okay. Well, that's my silicone and marble entry. And uh, my answer to the challenge. And now let's head up the coast to Petaluma and see how Mayita's doing. Thanks for watching, my friends.